Hello friends, welcome here at TNV Academy. In this session, we will understand the requirement of clause 6.3.3 is assigning work to audit team of ISO 19011-2018. Outcome of this subclause. This subclause enables the auditor to understand the requirement of clause 6.3.3 that is assigning work to audit team of the ISO 19011-2018. This subclause helps the auditor to assign the work to the audit team. Now, we will discuss the small introduction of this subclause. In this subclause 6.3.3, we will understand the assigning work to audit team. After understanding this whole session, candidate can assigning the work to the audit team. Let's talk about the requirement of the clause of a standard. The audit team leader in consultation with the audit team should assign to each team member responsibility for auditing specific processes, activities, functions or locations and as appropriate authority for decision making. Such assignments should take into account the impartiality and objectivity and competence of auditors and the effective use of resources as well as different roles and responsibilities of auditors, auditors in training and technical experts. Audit team meetings should be held as appropriate by the audit team leader in order to allocate work assignments and decide possible changes. Changes to the work assignments can be made as the audit progresses in order to ensure the achievement of the audit objectives. Let's discuss what clause requirement says. The team leader of audit team should assign the roles and responsibilities to each audit team members for the auditing of individual process, activities, functions or sites which can be manufacturing sites and as individual authority for decision making in the audit that is only audit team leader. Such work should take into account the equality and competence of auditors and the proper use of resources as well as different roles and responsibilities of auditors, auditors in training and technical experts. Audit team meetings should be held as individual by the audit team leader in order to allocate work assignments and decide possible changes. Changes to the work assignments can be made as the audit progresses in order to ensure the achievement of the audit objectives. Now, let's take an example how to write non-conformities against clause 6.3.2.2 of the ISO 19011-2018. Standard requirement. The audit team leader in consultation with the audit team should assign to each team member responsibility for auditing specific processes, activities, functions or locations and as appropriate authority for decision making. Such assignments should take into account the impartiality and objectivity and competence of auditors and the effective use of resources as well as different roles and responsibilities of auditors, auditors in training and technical experts. Audit team meetings should be held as appropriate by the audit team leader in order to allocate work assignments and decide possible changes. Changes to the work assignments can be made as the audit progresses in order to ensure the achievement of the audit objectives. Non-conformity evidence. During the review of audit plan, it was found that audit team leader Mr. Mahindra has not assigned the work properly to the audit team leader Mr. Harish. Dear friends, we have now come to the conclusion of this training session. See you soon with an exciting new topic. Till then, goodbye.